This is an interview with Mrs. Cecily Clark. About this really happened. She has just read the book. So, uh, what, which story or aspect of the book stands out for you? Which story moved you most? Several moved me. The one I really related to was the one about Tigger. That animal trying to find a home. I've experienced that with animals. Yeah. They do this. That's and I thought that was marvelous. That oh, was just the way it happens. That's wonderful. As a cat lover in the stories about other animals, because this really happened is, is, is about other animals too, did you learn something you did not know or observe yourself? You know I did, and this is kind of funny. The chickens, the rooster and the hen. Yeah. I didn't know there was a difference between fertilized and unfertilized eggs and how oh. that happened. I had no idea. <laughs> the, the fertilized egg has a kind of a white smudge on the yolk. Oh. And, and that's how you see it. Anyway, and they are, they are healthier for you then. But they lay, I didn't realize that they lay eggs without having been fertilized, you know. They, uh -huh. just seen they, they do, they do. Yeah. Um, so anyway, glad I'm glad you know <laughs> that you learned something. And the fact that she missed him, you don't think of chickens quite yes, as having her, emotion. And that's right. That's right. And she did for a few months, for a few months. But then she had a suitor, you know, and <laughs> she gave, she or the nature gave in, you know, whichever. Um, um, have you read other books on animals that appeal to such a wide audience, uh, adults and preteens? I don't... Well, most of the ones I read I was young, so I suppose they were originally classified as children's yeah, books, but yeah. they have become classics, yeah. so adults read them as well. Yeah. And oh. we brought up the um, James Harriet books. Yeah, the vet, which I loved. I absolutely did. Loved. I did. This and was, that was more realistic than. Yeah, this was. Fairy this were these were real yeah. events. I mean, he was a vet. You know, mm -hmm. I think Yorkshire, mm -hmm. and so it's all real experience. To write about. Also, and the sense of humor. You yes. know, it it was all yes. done with sense of humor, and of course, love for animals and people. You know, and so, people. And uh, have you read any other books on animals? Yep. Yeah. Over the years, and as a child or a young person. So you have a base for comparing a book on uh, other books of, on animals, and this really happened, in a sense, if you remember. Between fiction and reality? No, what you read, I assume that those were also true stories. I think most of those were fiction. Um, have you seen or read animals portrayed as funny? except on America's funniest videos. I get a lot of emails about funny animals and things they do. And also with animals that adopt an animal from a uh, different species. Oh, oh yeah, that's um, right. For some reason, I receive a lot of emails about this. It's fascinating. They're just fascinating. Yeah. Um, would you recommend this really happen and to what age audience? I definitely recommend it. It shows a side, a side. You have an animal and you love it, and sometimes you lose it. And sometimes things happen to it, and it shows all of that. And it shows it with humor and with caring, except for maybe very young yeah. people. And I think they haven't lived long enough to pick up on all of the nuances of what's going on. That's with right. the animal, That's but um, sixth, seventh grade, perhaps older, those have had experiences in, in adopting and in losing and so on. Um, it is a trauma, it really is, but it is part of life and you learn that even the worst traumas, life goes on and you still have the lovely memories. What do you think the, the advantages of a printed book uh, versus an electronic book, e-book. 
You know, I don't know because I haven't had the experience with the electronic. I understand it's smaller. That would be an advantage. I understand you can enlarge the print. And that would be a definite. And it's and it's and transportable. Uh, but there's something about curling up. Yes. With a book. You One know? of the ads for the Kindle shows a woman who was saying the book is better because you can't turn down the pages on a Kindle. Oh, well, oh, tear down. Yeah, turn oh, down, turn down the oh, corners. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the corners, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. she objected to it's, Well, I think you shouldn't do that. It's less tactile, definitely. That's, so. that's it. You know, tactile, uh, the visual pleasure you have from Kindle, but you don't have the tactile, right. you know. I, and I think that's so. Yeah, thank you very much oh, it was for your fun. cooperation. It was an experience to me. You were an excellent interviewee. <laughs> That's wild. Okay. So.